what the narcissist really thinks of you. The narcissist targeted you because they saw you as being superior to them. Narcissists want the best of everything. They want to be around people who are attractive, wealthy, successful or powerful. They want to be around people that other people like. It gives them narcissistic supplies by proxy. They live vicariously through their target to gain the supply that they need. They also assume that their target's attractiveness or good qualities will rub off on them or make them look good. That is why they targeted you. They wanted to partake in everything that you had to offer. They wanted to look more special, interesting or important in the eyes of other people. So when they first targeted you, they thought you were great. They thought that you were everything they were looking for. They thought that you were better than them. As time goes by, the narcissist begins to devalue and degrade you. They begin to treat you as though you are less than them. And this is where many targets get confused. From an observer's point of view, you could easily assume that the narcissist has gone from seeing you as someone who is perfect to seeing you as someone who is beneath them. But deep down the narcissist still thinks of you in the way that they always did. They still think you're better than them. They just don't want you to know that. They want you to think that you're beneath them. And they want you to think that they think you're beneath them. Because as long as they can get you to think in that way. It keeps you stuck. Believing that they're all you deserve. Believing that you need to do more for them. When really, you're already doing more than enough for them. And they already believe that you're better than they are. But if they can get you to believe that you're not, it makes it more believable for them. They trick themselves into believing that they are superior to you. In their minds, they begin to think that if they were able to come around you and get you to submit to them, that must mean that they are superior to you. In their minds, they have tamed the lion. That makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they're significant and important. When in reality, they've just coerced you into being under their control. But it makes them feel like they're superior than you. 
And all narcissists really care about is how they feel. They don't care about facts or logic. In their minds, if they can just keep you down to feel like they're above you, then it must be true. They must be superior to you. But deep down they still see you as being above them. They still see you as being more successful. More intelligent. More attractive. More capable. But they will never tell you this. Because that is where the narcissist sees their worth. Once they've got you it becomes an endless competition. A constant fight to be the best. Because deep down they already know that you are superior to them. And that is why they cannot let things go. They have to keep fighting. They have to keep trying to prove themselves to you. Which is why it's so easy for them to attack you or put you down. They have to win at any cost. Because deep down they're just trying to trick themselves into believing that they are better than you. Even if it is just a fantasy. If they can get you to believe it, it's good enough for them. Narcissists don't really care whether or not things are real. Which is why it was so easy for them to abandon their true selves and create their false self. Because they don't really value authenticity. It's not a concern to them. They're more interested in superficial things like money, power, success, physical attractiveness, intelligence, social proof. And if you possess any of these qualities, they will see you as being superior to them. They will target you and then try to contain you. Because they recognize your value. They just don't want you to know your worth. They don't want you to start thinking you're better than them. Because then you would have no reason for being around them. You might even come to the conclusion that you're even better without them. And they don't want you to start thinking in that way. Because it takes away their power. Which they originally took from you by domesticating you. So now they have to be in control of everything. They have to hold influence and authority over you. To make it look like they're the ones with the power. To make it look like you're the one who can't live without them. When secretly, from the moment they met you, they always knew you were greater than them. They always knew that you were the star of the show.
and they just wanted to bathe in your spotlight. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.